Hello anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we are exploring Amnesia, The Dark Descent. We are here, down in the cistern, with all the nasty business going on, poopy, filled water, not actually. You'd think there would be. It's basically a sewer. Um, but, actually, the water looks pretty clean, except for all the fish. Oh, and invisible monsters walking around. Yeah, we got some more of those. I'm super pumped about that. Um, also, I just realized, I literally just looked over there and I realized this must be, this must turn off the steam. Yep. So you can get back safely without any worry of isk, er, any worry of risk or injury. God dang, I can't speak sometimes. Okay. So, yeah, we basically... We've been filling up a chamber presumably filled with innocent trapped people or something with water. And with this last lever turn... Boom! Yeah! Even more of it! Alright, and now, can I reach that? I cannot. Where's a... I need a torch. There's one! Okay, uh, oh jeez, I'm really low on oil. I've been using a lot of it. Damn. Okay, so... Yeah, there's definitely a monster around in that water there. And... We now have to somehow get through all that water. Pretty ingenious of them to make this the last place you're at. Because, uh... We can't immediately go to the right. There's no ramps there. There's a ramp across from us. There's a ramp... Really, all the ramps are across from us, straight over there. It's just that there's, like, two of them. There's one to the right and there's one to the left. So, which one is safer to go to? And do I have any rocks that I can throw to distract the monster? No, of course not. All the rocks are over on the right side. Welp. Uh, I guess in that case... Any other mementos? No, no, no mementos available. Okay. Well, I guess in that case there's nothing left to do but just fucking run for it. Yep. Monsters are coming. And our run speed through the water is, uh, abysmally slow. Alright, let's take a rock. I don't even know if the monster is freaking around. I guess not. Alright, whatever, dude. Uh, I guess I was jumping around in the water for nothing. Or not in the water for nothing. I mean, uh... Whatever, light the frickin' torch and serve my oil, please. <laughs> Alright. So, what's all this business about? The voice went silent. Of course it did. And what did I do that for? Huh, game? Why did I fill this chamber that had a person or people in it with water? What did I gain? What was the purpose? I have no idea. I literally don't know what, the, what that did. I can only assume somehow this has opened a door somewhere else. Or something. I don't know. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh. Yep. Seems we're just free to go. Cool. 
The red taint burst from the walls as if they had begun to bleed. He cried out in fear as the spectacle began to consume the blue shimmer. Uh-huh. So, yay, we, uh... Killed some people. Great. Um... Really wish I knew what that accomplished. I don't think the game's gonna tell us. Um... That's the cistern over there, which has the... Huh. The pipe is leading to this thing. But this... That lever was just to bring the ladder down. What'd that accomplish? I have no idea. Like, is extra water coming out of these? No, it's like the... Pretty much the same as before. This is really weird. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! All the water is gone from here. That's the sewer. That's right, the signs... The signs read, redirect water from the sewer. So we remove the water down there, which must be the actual sewer, not the cistern. I guess there's a difference, I don't know it. So now we can access that area. And this is, of course, still not budging. And then there's the morgue. So, morgue or sewer? Actually, I think I'd prefer morgue. For a few reasons. One, uh, morgue is, uh, well, we unlocked it first. And the sewer, simply by virtue of being geographically located below the morgue, I assume is going to be worse. Because that's how this game seems to be working. Every time we move down lower into the earth, things get objectively worse for us. So, to the morgue! Yay! Alexander knew there must be a way to finish the ritual before it was too late. He had to teach his friend to harvest the, the vitae. That much was certain. Okay. Sure. Do you see, Daniel? It has yielded. What? The shadow. It has? For now. Come, let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor, to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Hmm. Sounds to me like that little ritual they performed required killing some people. And looks to me like this is a bit of a maze-like area. I'm not a fan of maze-like areas. Oh, well, blood's going off in that way, so you know which direction I'm going. Uh, okay. What's that thing? Dead rats. Cool. Oh, awesome. Just wonderful. Stop rattling chains. Nobody's scared of the sound of rattling chains. What? What happened? Why are all these dead? Where am I? What's happening? Help! Anybody! Oh, there's a rod thingy, and some laudanum, oh, oh, and another flashback. Three days now. This is ridiculous. I can send someone into this room. Hey, anybody? Am I all alone here? Help, help. I'm so tired. If I sleep. I'll wait from this nightmare. If not, I pray my heavenly father will take me in my sleep.
we're still crystal clear. Well, I guess, I guess Daniel is uh, grown a bit since the start of the game. Now we can straight up look at dead bodies, and he doesn't even mind. But um, this is actually kind of worrying because there isn't even a door on this cell anymore. There obviously used to be. It's right there. And uh, there's no place to hide in. And the game just gave me laudanum, which is the item you use to heal wounds. So that kind of makes me think, after I grab this, that the game's gonna screw me over and make a monster spawn, and I'm gonna have to try and run past it. So, here goes. Picked up copper tube. The fine copper tube found in the morgue looks like part of a surgical tool. How? What kind of surgical tool requires a... Is my... This is weird. My health is full. My sanity is now at a slight headache. Oh dear. The sanity is dropping very slowly. So never mind, I guess I was wrong. I guess we were losing sanity from being in there. That's unfortunate. Yeah, now we're at a slight headache. God damn it. This is so annoying. I hate the stupid sanity mis system. It's just the freaking worst. Alright. I, I, I want to know what kind of medical equipment could possibly use a metal rod unless we're talking some like really nasty at least somewhat illegal type of medical business is that um that's just a regular dead body okay Daniel, do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? Nope. I don't know what you're asking me if, I, if I've changed my mind about, but, uh, nope. I'm just gonna assume not. Because Daniel does not seem like the type of person to go willy-nilly changing his mind on stuff. And that is a dead, very naked dude. Wow. Okay. And that's a note. Let's read it. Plague outbreak. The strange deaths among the servants and the prisoners have finally been resolved. It seems that the drain sewer, which has recently been opened up for use as a means of transport, is plagued by a peculiar poisonous fungi. The victims seem to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared by this calamity, but it is clear that this cripples my progress. The prisoners die quickly, and their contaminated vitae lacks the energy I seek. I shall immediately start work on a vaccine. This reminds me, we did pick up a note uh, much earlier that talked about a deadly fungi that was in the uh, sewer, I believe it said. It, it either said in the sewer or the cistern or both. Um, so I guess actually we're probably going to find some type of cure or vaccine, more specifically, for the fungi and we can't go to the sewer until we come here, so I guess I made the right decision. Okay. And another note. And that thing. Anything in there? Nope. Hey! Tinderbox. And... Laudanum. Please stop giving me laudanum. Every time you do it makes me worried. Alright, what's the note say? Vaccine trials. The vaccine enabling my men to work in the fungi ridden sewer, yep, I knew it, is a definite success. Unfortunately, only a few of the servants have been remedied as the procedure pro proved difficult. The others will perish, and eventually I will have to create more of them to try to keep my experiments running. Create more servants. So he was up into, like, making golems and undead servants and stuff like that 
I guess those are the the zombie monster things that have attacked us. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will, will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. It will do fine for prisoner transport. Oh, goody. Alright, so that's obviously going to be a piece of the thing we need. But... Oh, jeez. Just, no. <laughs> Let's see what's in door number two! Ugh... Oh. Okay. I know we're in a morgue. Wait, was that? What the hell? Wasn't there less blood here a second ago? I'm going crazy. This game's literally making me insane. Good to know. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, no, I'm, I don't even know what I'm saying. What is... Are these just... Dead bodies, or is there something in? Is, is there any reason to be in here? I don't think so. I think that's just a room for forcing the player to lose a bunch of sanity. This too, probably, with my luck. Yeah. Oh. So when I was in that... Let me close this door while I talk for a second. When I was in that other room, the one where I found the copper tube, when I was in that room, I heard like a low humming noise, and I assumed it was just an echo coming through the skylight that was there. Um, but I just noticed again when I was in there looking at those bodies, and again was in here looking at these bodies, I think that low humming noise actually plays whenever you're looking at something that is disturbing enough that just looking at it makes your character start to lose sanity. And that is how I lost the little bit of sanity that I did when I was in the other room where I found the copper tube. So that's cool. I didn't expect them to actually give some type of audio cue just for looking at things. And I... But I guess they really should since, uh... Previously, I assumed only monsters could make you lose sanity by looking at them. I didn't realize just seeing things in the environment could do that, too. But with that said... You know, let's, uh... Have a little bit of comforting light. I'm trying to see if there's anything here that I can take and use, but there's not. Cool. Just... Sanity lost the room. And now I'm super bad. Great. Okay, what's this thing? I fear for Daniel, for he is rec reckless. He is tainted by the approaching shadow and will not be able to pass the gate. Will he be able to accept this in the end? My love, I've seen evil in him. How am I to trust him with the truth? A cruel irony that I have to do unto him what Agrippa did unto me. Uh-huh. Okay, can we actually take it, or... Nope, it's just... Just reading the thing, cool. Close, damn it. Okay. Um... So that's weird, I thought that was gonna be... I think, can we combine this one with one of these or something? And crank... Hammer and chipper, hand drill, hollow needle, glass jar, copper tube. Yeah, no, it doesn't... It wouldn't make any sense combining this with any of these. I mean, yep. Yeah, we can try just for the hell of it. It's not gonna do anything. What? Syringe, the copper tube and the hollow needle. Oh my god. A copper tube with an attached hollow needle. Okay. Oh, we got... One more item to try. Yeah, I know. Combination does not work. Thanks. Shut up. Okay. So we've got a syringe. A copper tube with an attached hollow needle. Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Vaccine. Note that an injection of vaccinated blood will work as a shield long enough to pass the sewers without any risk of infection. 
it will do fine for tr prisoner transport. The vaccine enabling my men to work in the fire bin, blah, blah, blah. So I need to take blood from someone who is vaccinated. And, uh, poisonous fungi, the victims seem to have suffered an extremely quick outbreak of sickness affecting the entire body. Some of my men, including myself, are blissfully spared by this calamity, but it's clear that this crippled my progress. The prisoners die quickly, and they're contaminated by Dialex, and blah, 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 yep. Um, so, it has to be the vaccinated blood, but wouldn't... I suppose technically wouldn't any infected blood work as a vaccine? I'm not sure. Hmm. Sounds like we have to take that needle and stick it into one of those dead bodies in there or there. Uh, I'm kinda, kinda worried about what might happen if I do the wrong one or something. Oh, this guy looks significant. He seems to have a more defined model than the rest, and looks a little bit more muscular, so I guess he's probably a probably was a bit healthier, so. No object to use item on. Great. Cannot use the item this way. Nope. Okay. Get out of here, I'm losing so much sanity just from trying to... Oh, what about this one? Because he's right here. It cannot penetrate the skull. Just, uh... Clip him open? No. That's not going to work. Oh, boy. I bet this will. Oh, that's so nasty. The hand drill broke. And is of no further use. That's nasty, but kind of cool and funny at the same time. Well, not funny. Just cool. It's a very... I mean, it's a very creative way of making the puzzle that we need to get the needle. Oh, but we need to get the blood from the brain for some reason, even though that doesn't make sense. We should be able to get blood from anywhere. Um, then it's like, you have to also use the hand drill. I don't know. It, it just seems like a creative puzzle to me. So I like it. And also, unfortunately, we're all out of time. So I'm going to have to end the video here. When we come back, I will drink of his crimson juices or whatever other creepy, vaguely funny thing you can think of. Because it all works for me. And I will see you all later. Bye bye